Today is Saturday, 26th of March, 2022. With Pastor Chris teaching, our topic for today is Keys to Effectual Prayers. Our opening text is taken from Luke 11, verse 1, and it says, And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray. Hallelujah. When you study the lives of the early prophets and the apostles, even the Lord Jesus Christ, you'd find they were very effective in their prayer lives. In our opening verse, the disciples asked him to teach them how to pray because they observed how effective his prayers were. So, it's not just enough to pray. It's the effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous man that produces results. There are scriptural rules and guidelines to effectual prayers. There are some things you have to pray about continually, you intercede continually, and there are things that you pray for only once, because if you keep praying about them, you're getting into unbelief rather than applying your faith. Meanwhile, there are things you are not even supposed to pray for, because no matter how long you pray about them, God's not going to respond because your request is spiritually illegal. So, there are different kinds of prayer and different rules governing them. Here, Pastor says, get our books, Praying the Right Way and How to Pray Effectively to Learn More. Please do. You don't just pray, Pastor continues. You pray according to the rules, and the rules follow the different kinds of needs. Praise God. Of course, in prayer, Something important you always require from God is direction. It's not like you are going to be asking him all the time how to pray about a particular situation, but even without you asking him, he gives you the direction through the Holy Spirit because that's one of the things the Holy Spirit came to do in your life. This is one of the reasons you must pray often in other tongues. Glory to God. Pastor says, the Holy Spirit and the Word are your keys to effective prayer. He'll bring the Word of God to your consciousness as you pray. Remember, Jesus said He'd guide you into all truth. He'll teach you all things, as you find in John 14, verse 26. He'll show you what to do in every situation. Oh, glory to God. Jesus said, He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. That we can find in John 8 verse 12 of the New King James Version. How do you follow him? It's through the word and guidance of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is alive in you today, but then he gives you the scriptures, that is, God's word, to guide you in all things, including how to pray effectively, Pastor concludes. So thank you, Lord our God, for your word to us today. Okay, let's take our prayer now from the bottom of our hearts. Please say after me. Thank you, dear Father, for the precious gift of the Holy Spirit, whom you sent to give me direction and guide me into all truth, including being effective in prayer. Today, he guides me to know and pray your will, and make tremendous power available to change my world. In Jesus' name, Amen. All right, for further study, please read 1 John 5, 15 to 16, and James 5, verse 16 of the Amplified Classic. So, we go ahead, use the keys provided, that is, the Word and the Holy Spirit who supplies it. We know you have been blessed by this excerpt. We'd like to invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord by saying this prayer. O Lord God, in Jesus Christ, of the living God, I believe He died for me and God raised Him. I believe He's alive. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ 
life. From this day, through him and in his name, eternal life. Life and again. That was all about a child of God. Congratulations! You are now a child of God. If you've said this prayer, kindly send us a message or call the following numbers now showing on your screen. God bless you.